What's up guys, Badger here back with some more GTA 5 online gameplay for you guys. And I know a lot of you have been wondering about the joggers glitch and asked me to do a tutorial to explain that to you. And, and I have guys, I definitely have. And also, <laughs> just received a message, sorry. I also want to give a shout out to Gary Gaming guys. Gary Gaming, thank you bro, you're awesome as hell for finding out this glitch. Freaking love, it's freaking awesome. But as I was saying guys, I never want to post a video to my channel if I haven't confirmed that it works and it actually works. And I want to give a shout out to Nitro, Spider, um, Solo and GB thank you guys for helping me out today you guys are freaking awesome so let's get into it so as you guys can see right now from the footage that I'm showing you this is the race that you need I named it black joggers glitch I'm also going to put it in the description on this video sh saying hey this is the link to the race that you need to do to be able to get the joggers glitch this is the race that you need to show up in your recent activities yes I'm gonna say that again this is the race that you need to have to show up in your recent activities is going to be in the description so before you do anything else or try to perform the glitch get this race bookmark it create your own personal playlist and play it for like two minutes you don't have to you don't have to win it you don't have to even beat it just stay in the race for like two minutes and then leave the race make sure you're on your own make sure you're online you need to be online because if you're not online you're not gonna see the race so appear online okay so let's get right into it and as you guys need to know now now the the actual mission or adversary mode that you need to play is called power play one it's power play one if you go to online scroll down to adversaries and you'll be able to see it click power play one okay that's what you need as you guys can see right now this is just footage right here basically of me helping a friend from from my from his point of view basically this is me helping a friend basically so what you're gonna see right now is me helping a friend so I was the host I started up the race and mind you guys to be able to get the black joggers you need to be on the purple the orange team if you spawn on the purple team you're not gonna get the black joggers you only need three people to help you with this too by the way you need three people so you and two other friends you and two other friends can do this Earlier we had a boatload of people, but don't worry, I'm going to walk you guys step by step to how to do this. We had a boatload of people. So basically, I join, the second person join, and the person that wants the black jocks needs to be the third person because he will spawn on the purple team. From there, if he spawns on the purple team, all he needs to do is switch over to the orange team, and the second person that's, that was on my team previously needs to just switch over to the purple team. There we go. Now purple guy got black joggers guy that had orange joggers originally went over to the purple team now he has purple joggers hopefully I didn't confuse you guys there but I'm still gonna walk you guys through this so everyone can understand this and so everybody can get black joggers and know how to do this glitch perfectly so when you start up the power play one you need to make sure you have it set to one round and put the kills to five yes it needs to be set to five and as you can see right now I'm on the purple team I just spawned in on the purple team I joined my friends team and I got the black joggers now my other friend is gonna join the purple team that's exactly how you need to do it now and all you need to do you and two friends can just go together and kill each other just to get the five kills quickly or you guys can wait out the ten minutes but it's quicker to do the five kills so just get the five kills out the way and then there you go so I'm gonna speed up the video here when we're gonna skip it, and then you're gonna see this is the end of the video guys because I didn't want to show you all that what, what was going on they just killed each other now from here this is what's gonna happen I'm gonna go to dashboard right dashboard this is what I'm doing and then we're gonna scroll over to profile your profile go to your profile once you get to the profile you need to go to recent activities click on that click inside that right and then when you get there you need to scroll down to the black joggers playlist right and once you get there click on that and then once you see that you see join playlist that's what you need to click so at the exact same time you click join playlist your friend will click replay on the job yes he will be counting down the whole entire time while you're doing that once he get to one you should already be hovering over join playlist yes you must click join playlist so when you click he's gonna click replay at one and you're gonna click join playlist at the exact same time you're gonna load up in your garage you're gonna get a notification on your screen that basically say are you sure you want to quit the job yes quit the job and once you quit the job you spawned in your garage already guys you simply just go upstairs that's all you do from there guys you get that notification that's gonna ask you are you sure you want to quit this job yes you quit because that quitting that job is the job that would have tucked you back up into that race that you do not need to play now that is just a race to get you to spawn in your garage and as you can see from here guys this is what you need to do from here you need to change your top yes change your top this is how I did it I changed my top first and then from me changing my top, I went to my mask. When I got to my mask, what I did was I put on a tactical mask, 
I, I put it no mask first and then I quit the tactical mask you need to remove that Halloween mask guys you must remove that okay and you must remove that that jacket and then from there I scroll down to my shoes guys I scroll down to my shoes as you guys can see I'm changing my shoes now normally a lot of you guys are having trouble with this I had trouble with that too where when I tried to change my shoes I got the like let's say I got the the gray sweatpants mainly because you got the black joggers from the purple team so if you get the black joggers on the purple team that's what's gonna happen every single time you're going to get the sweatpants you're gonna get the sweatpants you cannot get black joggers on a purple team I'm, I'm stressing this to you guys because it does not work that way guys and as you can see right now I'm just simply overriding one of my outfits the what the brown joggers that I had because the, the black joggers are more important this is what we all want I'm basically walking you guys through this step by step so I hope you guys understand this okay if you don't understand it guys just simply ask questions I'm also right now at the end of the video guys I'm about to show you another another glitch I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen this glitch before on my channel I'm basically showing you how to mod your character in game and basically what I'm doing now I went to suit vest as you guys can see vest I went to actual vest and put on one of the vest shop one of the vest shirts because basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get the double t-shirt, which means the long dress shirt sleeve with a t-shirt underneath it. It looks freaking sick. You guys seen it on my Poetic Justice outfit. If you haven't seen the Poetic Justice outfit, then definitely check out that video showing you how to make Poetic Justice or how to mod your character in game. So what I'm doing here now, I'm changing the gas mask from the outfit. I need the gas mask from the hazmat suit. Yes, if you want to do this glitch, just follow everything that I'm doing. So I got the gas mask from the hazmat suit. I'm saving it on this outfit. This is exactly what you need to do. Just watch me, guys. Just watch everything I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to override that. Save that. Save that over again. And as you guys can see, I went online. I went to jobs. I went to play jobs. And basically, but before I did that, I put the outfit on three to four times to make sure it sticks because I want to spawn in wearing that outfit because sometimes you'll spawn in wearing like a stocking mask and we don't want that. So you go to you go to online. You go to um, play jobs, Rockstar Creative Jobs, and you go to missions and you look for a mission called All in the Game. Choose that mission and just simply confirm everything. You don't even have to touch that. Just confirm it and play it. Now, once you load up into the mission, you're going to see you're going to load up into the mission with no arms as I have right now. No arms, no sleeves. Now, if you guys choose to keep it like that, then that is per your choice. But there's other glitches out there showing you how to get your character no arm. So basically right now, I'm simply doing is going down to the emanations. Guys, I had to order my car and I'm going to find my car. But apparently I don't find my car because it didn't spawn where I needed to spawn. So I simply just steal another car, steal another car. And I'll make my way to the nearest emanations on the map. As you guys are gonna see me do and when I get to the emanation guys I'm simply just gonna go to best shirts and click on anyone so I can get the black shirt so I'm pulling up here right now I'm gonna walk you guys through it pulling up here right now going over here to the clothing section going to tops and I'm going I'm gonna go to um, um, suit uh, what is it no nope. yeah vest shirts vest shirts and I'm gonna choose the black one guys as you guys can see I'm gonna choose the black one I'm gonna put on the black one and there you go I got the a t-shirt with a long sleeve dress shirt freaking sick guys basically showing you how to mod your character in game that's two glitches in one for you guys for the day two glitches guys basically so if you guys are able to able to do this glitch, perform the glitch and do everything properly you'll be able to probably make the same outfit that I have or something better you know this is something that I wanted to make <laughs> this is my new bloodthirsty outfit right here guys with the black joggers I freaking love it man so I hope you guys enjoy the video yo shout out to everyone that helped me at that I said in the video shout out to Gary gaming solo nitro GB and spider thank you guys and I hope you guys enjoy the video definitely follow every step and get everything right peace